ISRO has regional satellite services called Navi constellation uh, of the constellation of seven satellite, four satellite is uh, synchronous. That's what you are seeing in the orange color in the orbit and three in the blue. So seven satellite constellation can give us a better than 20 uh, meter accuracy uh, to do the prediction. This is very, very essential for our the defense purposes. Along with all these applications, the quest for the knowledge and monitoring the uh, space for once upon a time a atmospheric event happening like gamma ray burst and so on. If we don't have a space lab, like AstroSat India has got very advanced stage, we will not be able to do this X-ray astronomy and we will not be able to monitor such events and find it out, the blue, uh, the black holes and so on. So in case we need to do that, we need to have such missions where the quest for the knowledge, the origin of life, deep understanding of our planet, all this need can be very easily met for the space platforms and uh, after getting the data, data sharing with the globally and getting the better information. This started with 1963 and as of today, we have so many scientific satellites, including Chandrayaan Orbiter uh, missions and then AstroSat, then we have Mars Orbiter mission, uh, which is recently completed uh, uh, the life. And we had a SRO satellite. So we had so many and very shortly, we are going to launch uh, an X-ray polarimetry uh, satellite called ExpoSat in uh, space. As far as the satellite is concerned, we have uh, now almost got full confidence about the building of the satellite, building of the scientific instrument, getting the data, data dissemination, and providing a necessary information. Now we are, we are not at all bothered about the getting the data from outer world. But uh, the war-like war situation like Cargill, uh, if it happens, we are self-reliant because at the time of Cargill, India was denied the support of the such data from United States. 